what's going on so I want to do a little discussion vlog I guess these vlogs are a popular thing now so I figured we'll try that out for a video the thing I want to talk about and I want open discussion in the comments and y'all's opinions and y'all's thoughts but it's concealed carrying and carrying in public the big thing that gets debated a lot is whether to open carry or conceal carry and personally in, in my own opinion and this is all my opinion a lot of it's going to be my opinion and some training education based but in my opinion if you open carry you're more likely to make yourself a target for said bad guy Conceal carry, you have a little bit more of an opportunity to turn yourself in to a better position to try to eliminate that threat. But with open carry, you also have better accessibility. Coming down to it, I personally think that concealed carry is a better option than open carry because you make yourself, like I said before, a target bad guy's gonna come in they don't want opposition that's the biggest thing they don't want opposition so if they face opposition they're more likely to give up but if they see you immediately and you don't have time to react to draw your weapon now you are the target you're the threat so they might be looking at you like I said opinion based concealed carry like I said you got a little bit more time to get into position to get a more tactical position to set yourself up better to establish some type of dominance and I think that's key in that it's all about time speed and aggression how much time do you have to react how much speed is it going to take to get into a position and your level of aggression when moving in because if you're slinking you're not confident other stuff like that they're going to pick that up and now they're going to see that you're acting weird, so their eyes are going to be set on you. And the other thing is practice. Practice, practice, practice. How many times do you practice drawing from your concealed carry holster? Or how many times do you just wake up and say, eh, you know, I'm just going to put my gun on today and go out, but you've never drawn from the holster. You've never had to deal with pulling an article of clothing out of the way. I'm not saying go out and do stress drills, do jumping jacks and push-ups and run in place until you're winded and then run up, draw your weapon and start blasting away and do that awkward check around that's it's goofy it's goofy just training is a big thing the more you train the better you're going to be able to respond are you going to respond different under stress yes but when you're stressed out and you've trained and drilled and trained and drilled to the point that you're now so accustomed to training and to drilling that if that presents itself, your body might actually take over for the stress compensation and before you know it, you got your weapon drawn and trained down on the guy. Or gal. I mean, anybody can be a bad guy, anybody can be a good guy. So, train and drill. It's important. Always important. The other thing, effective shot placement. If you're there trying to protect innocent bystanders, shot placement is going to be key. Always know what's beyond your target. We've all been taught this. If we've taken any type of training from your granddaddy all the way up to some type of formal training, know what lies beyond your target. Obtain a sight picture. All that good stuff. If you're there trying to protect innocent bystanders, and you haven't practiced, you haven't shot, you haven't pulled the stinking trigger on your weapon, or it's your first time concealed carrying, and you haven't practiced firing at a target from a draw, you might cause more harm than good. There's always a good guy that can take care of the situation, whether it be police officers or whether it be a concealed carry holder, a legal concealed carry holder. You can always be that person, but you're letting everybody down around you that you're trying to protect if you don't train if you don't prepare yourself now you have the opportunity it's not really it's, the opportunities are good and bad this is a bad opportunity you have the opportunity to then turn in the one that inflicts damage on somebody other than the bad guy so try practice train drill get accustomed to that weapon 
Get accustomed to that weapon system. Know what to do if it's going to fail. Practice your snap cap drills. Practice your immediate actions. Get out there and practice. That is key. Practice, practice, practice. Like I said, I just wanted to do a short little video. Sometimes it get boring driving home. Now I'm using hands-free. Both hands are on the steering wheel. Paying attention to the road. <coughs> so, you can blast me on it. It's fine. Well, I'm trying to get some new videos up on the channel. I'm trying to get some things going. Got a good video camera. We're going to film some hunts. There's a few small snippets of videos out there of the sitting out in the woods and the different types of camouflage not different types I use King's camo I love King's camo everything about it's great they get great camo patterns they get great stuff for when you're downtown no I'm not getting paid no they're not sponsoring me or sending me free stuff I pay out of pocket for everything that I got of theirs to include this fancy hat here from King's check them out like I said not getting sponsored by them they're not paying me to say this stuff I just have brought it out I've tested it I've used it and I love it love everything about it so follow us be sure to like and subscribe if you like the vlog video that we talked about today like subscribe comment below and let me know if you want more give me discussion topics it can be from this one it can be from things you want to talk about later we can debate about things we might not disagree on because that's what makes America great right that's what makes it worth men and women out there defending our freedom fighting for our country so that we can have opposing ideas but we can handle them civilly we can have debates we can agree to disagree that's what makes it so great we cannot see eye to eye on things and walk away and learn something from each other so let's do that the firearms community is a great community now I understand there are certain individuals that <coughs> definitely think they are an expert in their field you know they might have tons of experience and tons of training and all that under the belt but nobody is truly an expert at any field if we're not learning something every day if we're not out there working to educate ourselves on things that are changing it's pointless we fell into a rut and we are going to fail constantly you must train constantly you must learn something new so if there's something you don't agree with that i said or something you don't agree with that I talked about, tell me. Let's talk about it. Not in the words of Machine Gun Kelly for my younger guys out there. Not, not like that, let's talk about it. I feel like that's negative. But, let's have a discussion. Let's open this up. Let's have a good time. Let's grow the page. And let's educate each other and continue to grow the gun community and show everyone out there that we are not crazy psycho hillbilly rednecks with guns we are educated we are trained we are professional in what we do so be sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what you want to talk about next i appreciate all of you see you next time